Hello friends, today I am going to show you the simple and forced parameterization in SQL Server. By default, we have simple parameterization in for any database in SQL Server. If you want to see you, here I have a statement. Click execute. Now if we see the all all are simple except this text. Okay, so except test database, I am having all simple parameterization. So I'm um, right now whenever you execute a simple select statement so and you are passing literals means using where command this is called literals so all these simple queries are eligible for parameterization so I'm clearing the buffer cache here okay I'm using here like okay now I'm turning on execution plan click execute see both are both retrieve single record if i go execution plan this is 50 and this is 50 that's all okay but if you observe here uh, this one is like 11 okay and this one is 207 if you see here literals so this is the first command i would like to highlight means whenever you execute here it is taking the literals as a parameter because due to simple parameterization if I want to see here okay due to this thing go to options go to options here uh, you see by default here simple if you want to change you can just change here and click ok or otherwise you can take the script how the script see alter database pdm set parameterization force with no weight this is the t is equal command and if i see here this is also for same see even though i am passing the literals for different uh, thing but i am getting the same thing here So credit card one and credit card one. Okay. So I'm passing the literals. Now what I will do, I will see uh insert go. I am dividing the statements. See, even though I'm it is passing the literals one only. I mean it is taking the literals, okay. It is not taking it due to simple parameterization. Okay, but uh, as of now see when I would use simple and forced parameter this is the question what I am right now having in my mind okay and if you see here so my application is passing the select firing the select statements using this kind of select statements and they are not using any stored procedures with variables and so that is the one of the question okay so whenever you had this kind of uh, like queries and that you want to parameterize okay then you can go with the by default simple it is not no need to change anything coming to here I am using some uh, comparison literals where now down the date columns if I see here, uh, basically I want to see here query hash is also same. See if you see here properties query hash. Okay, for this thing, if I go here properties, where is the query hash? Query is also the same. Okay, now. So I am passing this query on adventure works. If I see here, it is not taking any literals, even though it is like simple select statement where uh, using the compare literals I am passing here. So th this is the query I am passing. For example, uh, my application is using this kind of uh, like so many select statements okay so many this kind they are firing like this so at that time at that time 
see each and every each and every uh, like select statement will occupy some space in the plan cache so we are not passing any literals okay and one more thing is my database is not skewed skewed means what whenever you pass any literals okay anything you are getting certain record certain records of same like 10,000 or 10,000 when you pass any literals you will get okay now nah, like so many nah, like all the records are same not heavily skewed okay for example uh, like uh, you are searching for certain records okay like with the name called like something harsha harsha is having uh, like 10,000 records and you are passing another name it is also having 10,000 10, records so if you have this kind of evenly distributed data then and it is not taking parameterization then at that time at that time okay this you have to use force parameterization okay so that is the thing that you need to now what i am going to do i am going to adventure works db data warehouse options now where is the parameterization here i am taking to force and click and this option is online operation it doesn't log any databases okay and it it will only flush the already cached uh, plans uh, except which are running or recompiling okay click okay now the same query the same query i am firing again see it is taking the literals passing as a literals okay so if i do uh, fire if i do a fire the same statement with literal some other value like 2009 okay if i do the same thing see it is taking as a parameter it means so the all like i mean to say like all are like it will occupy only one single plan okay so now no need to occupy much space and no need to compile again and again it will use the same plan why because the records are same i don't uh, like my data is not highly heavily skewed that is the one thing okay so at that time for example i am having i am having 10 queries like this 10 queries like this okay but but when i am using force parameterization my query is not performing well two or two or three queries are not performing well Rena remaining all are working fine this is my situation okay so at that time you set the database as a parameterization as forced only but what are the queries that are not performing well for those queries you can just pass a sql statement like this okay and you can say that you just use the parameterization as a simple using this if you do this this is done so if you use that whenever uh, the force parameter is not working for those uh, t sql statement it will use the simple but for remaining eight or eight for t sql queries the force parameterization is working very best okay so now if i see here force parameters there are some conditions when even though you set as a force parameterization but it will not take that as a parameter so at what statement so these are all the st uh, state conditions for example if the statement contains recoil compared recoil compartment it is not using existing plan cache it has to use and it has to come, uh, generate has new literals okay uh, if the statement contains more than 2000 that are not eligible for parameterization if it is contained less than this that is not eligible so this is like where is the compute current clause okay these are all like situations why the query is not taking going for the parameterization okay so this is what uh, simple and forced parameterization in SQL Server. I hope uh, you may like this video. I am going to give all the scripts what I have used and the links in the 
comment box as well okay you just go through that and uh, i mean uh, provide us some feedback that will help us to enhance ourselves thank you bye